Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today we are on day 27. Just had to confirm that. Yesterday we started off with our opportunities applet. Today we're going to continue that series. And we're going to look at custom stages, the way your stages are managed, the way that they are edited, and your ability to customize those. So let's jump into the opportunities applet, sixth button down here. We're gonna click on that to take us into our pipeline view. And then from there, we have again, three different pipelines with five different phases that we can customize. And what I mean by that is we can't customize the phase. However, we can customize the stages inside of that phase. So this is a pretty good example. As you look at my screen, it is most likely not the same as your screen. I believe that the stock version of command has hot, nurture, and watch. While those are very popular terms and ways to classify your cultivated leads, for me, <clears throat> I'm a little bit more uh, high C personality. I like time sensitive uh, type stages. And so I've gone in and customized my stages based upon specific time frames. You can do the same thing. Maybe you use Hot Nurture Watch because you like that setup. Maybe you have A, B, C, D as far as Cultivate goes. Maybe you have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Something along those lines. So I'm going to show you your ability to come in and actually customize what these stages look like. So if I clicked on Edit Stages, let's say that you were preferring the uh, a, B, C, and D, right? So your A leads are ones that are going to be ready in less than a month. Your B leads are one to three, your C leads are three to six, and then your D are six or months or more. You have the ability when you are inside of this edit, right? So I basically I went up and clicked on edit stages to click on the pencil next to any stage and change the name. So if I click on this pencil, I can come in and say that this is an A lead. I can save that and then I can say that this is a B lead and then I can say that this one is a C lead and I might decide you know what I'm not going to put D leads into my opportunities I'm just going to use A B and C and so therefore I can delete this stage so if I click on delete stage it will show you if this stage contains any opportunities you're deleting a stage with opportunities in it they will be moved to a previous stage at the current phase so I'm gonna go ahead and click on delete stage. Now that I have A, B, C, if I go back to my pipeline, you can see there's A, B, and C. Now for me, I look at this as someone is moving from left to right, right? So they are moving closer to the close stage. But I've actually had some people that have said, hey, I, the C, B, A thing throws me off. Shouldn't it be A, B, C? Well, it can. You have the ability to reorder these columns however you see fit. So if you want to come in to edit stages once more, you can move these stages. So we said we wanted A first, and then we wanted B, and then we wanted C. So if I now come back to the pipeline, you'll see instead of being C, B, A, I'm now A, B, and C. Now you may see some of these percentages that are next to the stage name on each one of these stages. That refers to the likelihood that when I put an opportunity in this particular custom stage, how likely it is to close. And where that comes in, it's gonna come in later when we start adding in actual uh, potential dollar value for listings, right? What we're gonna list it at and what our commission rate is, that will determine what our potential commission earned could be. And then we're gonna take that potential commission and multiply it by the percentage likelihood that that transaction would actually actually close and we'll end up seeing the difference between probable and potential. So that'll play out as we continue to grow in these challenges and kind of get through the ability to create an opportunity, which we will in the future. But if you want to change, let's say uh, your C leads actually because you took out the D, if they're getting into your opportunities, they're going to have a higher likelihood. So you might say that that's a 5% chance. Maybe the leads coming into your system, they're not necessarily cold internet leads, they're a little warmer, so you have a higher likelihood of closing them. Uh, maybe your B leads, those hit uh, 8%, and then your A leads might hit 10%. So 
they do have the ability to come in and customize those and you can see and again if it still kind of trips you out you can always just reorder c b a so that when you come in you got a five percent then you move to eight percent then you move to ten percent so again completely customizable how you look at these stages finally you do have the ability to do checklists and client updates and we're going to get into those tomorrow uh, actually not tomorrow i apologize we'll actually be off the challenge for uh, six business days so tomorrow is a juneteenth holiday for kwri uh, so i will not be working and i'm on vacation next week so take a little break if you want you can always go back to 4.0 and watch some of those videos you can get into answers.kw.com and look up some of those amazing articles you can actually even go into the marketplace and look up some of our enablement team trainings that might assist you there but when i get back from vacation we are going to dive further into opportunities we're going to start looking at custom checklists we're going to look at automated client updates and then we're going to start building opportunities and getting into document management commission management and much more from there so for today i hope you're having a fantastic thursday hope you enjoy the weekend and i'll look forward to seeing you when i am back from vacation